Hi guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video where I highlight everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. Let's not waste any more time and just jump right into our stories. Our first news is artificial intelligence is guiding human return to the moon. The article further goes on and mocks the human intelligence compared to artificial intelligence. There is no doubt the only way forward for humanity is to enlist the help of artificial intelligence systems such as they presently are. They are required, you see, because humans always had a habit of biting off more than they can chew and engage in the audacious projects that are far beyond their capabilities of their brains. So basically what this article is mocking about is the use of artificial intelligence and uh, the pre-planning of programs that we as humans do. So basically what this article highlights is the project Artemis by NASA. So project Artemis is basically a pilot project. Before NASA sends astronauts to Mars, they want to test it out by sending astronauts to the moon so that they don't lose lives in the process and NASA announced that the Orion spacecraft which is going to be instrumental in this project it looks something like this and it was being developed at Lockheed Martin laboratories and they used a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence softwares to enhance it. They also used a system called System Invariant Analysis Technology, SIAT for short. It is an artificial intelligence program which is developed by NEC Corporation. So SIAT is generally used to find out inconsistency in a program and then its artificial intelligence finds solutions for it. So this article is basically mocking the Lockheed Martin laboratories who have announced at the beginning of the month that it has signed a deal with NEC that would allow SIAT to be used further for the advancement of Artemis programs but they did not specifically know how it would be useful and the quotes also suggest that. So this article is mocking what Lockheed Martin has signed up for and artificial intelligence is involved somehow. So let's move on to our next article, Joshua Bengio and why he is bullish about causal learning. So if you have been following this channel for a long time, you would know that in the past two videos I have covered some articles that have heavily criticized statistical learning and now Joshua Bengio says that Discovering causal relations means acquiring robust knowledge that holds beyond and support of observed data distribution and set of training tasks and it, it extends to situations involving forms of reasoning uh, and it would lead to autonomous decision making by artificial intelligences. Uh, so Joshua Vengio and the researchers of University of Montreal along with Google research demonstrated how causal research can lead to robustness and generalization of machine learning models. So in a nutshell, causal learning is data driven like statistical learning but it also has assumptions that are not already included in the statistical descriptions of a system and it is a more robust form of learning. It is a great article which highlights importance of causal learning, statistical learning versus causal learning and contributions of this research to machine learning at large. Please do read this article, I will leave a link in the description down below. But for now, let's move on to our next article. Our next article is Facebook is training artificial intelligence to help it recognize objects using 1 billion Instagram images which does not need human label images to learn accurately see. Now we have discussed at length that Facebook has this artificial intelligence algorithm that recognizes images and what is happening in those images. And now they are going to improve it even further by using 1 billion Instagram images to feed into it for research purposes and make this artificial intelligence more sophisticated. And this artificial intelligence will be better at generating automated text for elaborating image and its contents for visually impaired people and make automatic categories for items that are sold on Facebook and Instagram marketplaces. It will also help in blocking harmful images of the platform which violates the community guidelines of Instagram as well as Facebook. So there is an ethical conundrum to this that people will argue that how their images are being used for these research purposes and this algorithm and this AI but Facebook has the terms and conditions that you have accepted before signing in that they can use your images that you upload on that platform for research purposes. So in that case a user cannot do anything. Let's move on to our next story. Julia Computing receives funding to accelerate electronic simulation using AI and machine learning. 
Julia Computing has been awarded funding by US Defense Advanced Research Project Academy to accelerate the simulation of analog and mixed signal circuit models using AI and machine learning. So Julia Computing has a performance and differentiable programming capabilities that gives it a unique advantage in creating novel tools for modeling and simulation. The company is also partnering with Boston based quantum computing startup QERA to demonstrate these novel capabilities for simulations of control electronics of QERA's neutral atom quantum computers. Moving on to our next story, we have Eric Schmidt again, the ex-head of Google and the current chair of National Security Committee for Artificial Intelligence, insisting that US should increase the funding for its AI programs. So basically, Eric Schmidt is urging lawmakers to ramp up fundings for research and development in artificial intelligence in order to prevent China from becoming the biggest player in the global artificial intelligence market. And Schmidt believes that if China becomes a superpower in artificial intelligence, that it can create a privacy and security threat to the United States, which can put that country into a state of national emergency. For doing so, he has suggested that increase the nation's budget for research and development from 1.5 billion to 2 billion and then doubling it each year until it hits 32 billion in 2026. Schmidt also suggests that this is a win-win situation because AI expenditures would promote private investments in the space and could save taxpayers money in the long run by modernizing the government's infrastructure, estimating that the industry could be worth 50 trillion over the next 20 years. So we will have to wait and see how much the fear of Eric Schmidt holds true. So that's about it. These were all the stories from the world of artificial intelligence. I encourage you to read these articles in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, please click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other update from Analytics India magazine.